everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today we're going to be showing you how to get the Lucky Block mod in Minecraft 1.17.1. We're going to go over every single step of getting Lucky Block and even break a few in this video because that's always a fun time. First and most though, we do have a much more sponsor which is Apex Minecraft. So you can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love them just Apex so much that we have our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft hosting. That's the first link down below the breakdown text by Z slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get the Lucky Block mod up and running on Minecraft 1.17.1. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our text tutorial for the Lucky Block mod. Something that I would recommend kind of running through if, uh, if you know, you want to go at your own pace or something like that. The video is going a little too fast, for example. This tutorial can help. Nevertheless, once you're here, though, go ahead and click on this yellow download Lucky Block button. That will take you to the official download website for Lucky Block. Now, only click the things we click here, don't click anything else. What I mean by that is make sure you're paying attention to what we're clicking. Don't just go to this website clicking around because you might accidentally click something like an ad, which is what this is up here at the top, that big start now button. Don't click that. That's an ad. We don't want to click stuff like that. What we want to do is scroll down on this page at the very, very bottom until we see in the bottom left, very bottom of the page, Lucky Block for Minecraft Java Edition plus Forge right down here, this download button in the very, very bottom left of the page. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to the list of all the different downloads for Lucky Block. And as you can see, the first version is 1.17.1. Want to come over here to the right-hand side and click on the like orange yellow download link on the right-hand side at the 1.17.1 version. We click on that, it's going to take us off to here where we have to wait a few seconds and then a download button will appear in the top right. Go and click on that yellow download button in the top right. And finally, in the bottom left, Lucky Block will download. As long as it does have Lucky Block in the title, we're going to keep the file. It's 100% safe to do so. Now, if you are on Mozilla Firefox, you need to save it in the screen. Same applies though, I make sure it just says Lucky Block in the title and you're safe to save it. Now we need to download Forge, you can find Forge at the third link in the description down below. And when you do click that link, it will take you to our website where you can see our text tutorial for Forge. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but if you have any issues or anything like that, come through this tutorial. Once you're here though, go ahead and click on the green download Forge button. That will take us off to Forge's official website where we want to make sure the 1.17.1 version of Forge is selected. As you can see here, MC 1.17.1. So we are good, but if you're not, go over here to the left hand side, click on 1.17 and then click on 1.17.1. You will then see MC 1.17.1. One here. We can come under download latest and click on the installer. It will then take us off to add focus where stop! Don't click anything on this page. Not a single thing whatsoever on this page needs to be clicked. So just wait. Now it might look different for you and that's okay, but it will have forge in the top left, for example. Don't click anything on this page. Wait 10 seconds on this page. Just sit back, relax, take a drink, something like that. And then in the top right, you'll see a red skip button up here, right? So click the red skip button in the top right and then in the bottom left, Forge will start downloading. So as you can see, we do have Forge downloading in the bottom left. So again, it has Forge in the title. It is safe to keep it. Same applies for Mozilla Firefox. You want to save it in the server screen, though, as long as it has Forge in the title, it's 100% safe. And we go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we will find Forge and we will have the Lucky Block mod. If these are on your desktop, though, no worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon in the top of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. And in here, you will have Forge and Lucky Block. Drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. What's easier on your desktop? We want to go ahead and start off with Forge. Now, if your logos look different, for mine, your Forge logos. Just keep watching. I'm going to show you how to fix that. But first, let's see if we can open up Forge here. So go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Or I do, I click OK, it doesn't work. Or, like I said, your icons here, your logos are not the same. Well, to fix any and all that, you need to download Java. Specifically, you need this version of Java for Minecraft mods. It's a newer version of Java that you might already have installed. Recently, Minecraft as a whole transitioned to Java 16, thus meaning you need a new version, and this is where you can get it from. It's a simple three-step tutorial, walks you through all of it, and you should be good to go. For some of you, though, you will need to run the jar fix. What this is going to do is take the .jar files in your computer and link them to Java, making them all work happily together. That's going to fix your logos and things like that. Now, finally, we go ahead and minimize our browser. Right-click, my background changed. <laughs> that was weird. Well, look at this. This is really cool. We can click Next Background right there. Bam, and it's going to change again. Awesome stuff. Another Lamborghini. Gotta love it. Anyway, let's go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. This is going to open up the mod system install for Forge here, where we just want to click on Install Client and click OK. I'm going to do a quick jump cut, and I'll see you once Forge is installed. 
So there we go, as you can see, Forge is finishing up installing. Now the only reason this may not work is if you've not played Minecraft 1.17.1 vanilla, which means no Optifine, no mods, no anything. Just go play Minecraft 1.17.1, come back, and this will work if it does fail. But as you can see, for me, successfully installed Clamp Profile Forge. Awesome, and go ahead and click OK there. It's gonna close out of the mod system installer, and now we can move on to installing Lucky Block. To do that, we wanna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you hit the play button, we need to make sure that Forge is selected. So we wanna click on this little arrow to the left of the play button and click on Forge here. As you can see, I have Forge. It says 1.17.1 dashboards under it. I'm good to go. I can go ahead and click play, click play again. We're good to go here. However, for some of you, that won't be the case, right? You won't have Forge here, or if you do, it won't say 1.17.1. What do you do if you uh, had that happen? Well, you want to click on installations. Then we first want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, I uncheck modded, Forge disappears. Click on modded, Forge reappears. It, that makes it appear. Awesome. Go ahead and click play. Again, as long as it says 1.17.1 there. But if you don't have Forge or it doesn't have the correct version of Forge, 1.17.1 under it, you want to click on new installation. Then in this new installation, you want to go ahead and name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Truly, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm naming it that because that is our own incredible 1.17.1 grief protected survival server. It is the best survival server out there. 150 players online every single day. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. Now let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here and find release 1.17.1 dash forge right here it is up towards the top release 1.17.1 dash forge right there now that is the most important part you want to make sure that it does say that under version if it does you're kind of good to go i am going to change the resolution just so i can see better and you can see better once we get in game and now we want to go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right now we have this new player breakdowncraft.com profile and under most importantly we have 1.17.1 dash forge however that click the green play button you can go ahead and understand you're playing mod in minecraft that's all you're saying there is you playing mod in minecraft and you know that and then go ahead and click on the green play button again and minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up with Forge installed. No Lucky Blocks, though. We have to open up Minecraft with Forge to install Lucky Blocks. Luckily, it's pretty easy from this point forward. I'll see you on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are. Minecraft is open. Forge is clearly installed. You may not have Forge beta at the top. It's actually a good thing if you don't, but it will say Forge in the bottom left. Now we can go ahead and click on the Mods tab in the Minecraft main menu. Again, Minecraft main menu here. Click on this Mods tab. Then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left of the Mods tab. Once you've opened your Mods folder, it's super simple to install Lucky Block. Just take it from your desktop and drag and drop it from your desktop into your Mods folder. Boom, just like that, you're good to go. Now we can go ahead and click Done here. And then go back to Mods. It's never going to be here. Lucky Blocks is never going to appear until we quit Minecraft open up the Minecraft launcher again. And then this time we again want to make sure our Forge or our custom profile is selected. No matter what, it should say 1.17.1-Forge there. And then go ahead and click the green play button. This time Minecraft is going to open up with a lucky box installed. I'll meet you on the main menu to load into a world and try some out. See you after the last, well, one of the last quick jump cuts in this video. So here we are on the main menu. And if we look at mods, we do have a lucky block right there. It is. We go ahead, create a new world here and check out some lucky blocks in it. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to call it lucky block. And it's always easier if you've got some creative mode to rely on. Should things go wrong with your lucky blocks, see you in game. So here we are in game. And if we go in here and search for... Lucky Blocks, we have a few options. So we also have the Lucky Potions down here, which can be pretty fun, but we're gonna go ahead and open up two uh, Lucky Blocks, two Very Lucky Blocks, and two Unlucky Blocks. Now, uh, like I said, it's always a good idea to have the option of creative. So let's go ahead and kind of queue that up because uh, these things will kill you if you're not careful. So we're gonna go ahead, and we're just gonna start off with the normal Lucky Blocks. Go ahead and open up that one, and uh, it trapped us in Obsidian. And we have to we have to dig out. See, it's always smart to have a uh, have a way to uh, kind of get out of these if uh, if you're ready. So make sure you do have you know diamond pickaxe, decent armor, that sort of stuff, because that's basically a kill chamber <laughs> that it just put us in. So now we go ahead and open up the next lucky block. Let's get to a little bit more of a clear area, like right over here, just in case it does spawn something crazy in. Break that one, and hey, it gave us a birthday cake. How nice is that? Awesome. So now we can go ahead to the very lucky blocks. This should give us some pretty good stuff and a bunch of paintings. Looks like a bunch of paintings. Cool, cool. Let's go ahead and place one of those down there. And then let's open it one more time. Come on, give me some diamonds or something good. Oh, hey, we got some paper and a buried treasure map. That's cool. That's cool. Awesome. So there we go. There is that. Now, the unlucky blocks, uh, as the name implies, are pretty unlucky. Oh, a wishing well. Maybe you should throw in a coin. We have a coin. Oh, I don't know how this is going to work out, but your death wish came true. Okay. <laughs> We were able to back up and survive, but just barely. Look at that. Wow, that, wow. Okay, cool. So that's an example of uh, what an, a very unlucky block can do to you there. Luckily, they were nice enough to give us a cake and keep us fed and get some of that health back. Let's go ahead and open up our last unlucky block. We'll go up here to do it because why not? Um, <laughs> wow, that was cool. The, 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 the 
an extra level of, I wonder if you just left it there. I think it would. If you didn't throw the coin in, you just left it there. You'd be fine. But nevertheless, I had to throw the coin in. Hey, and chainmail armor, pretty good there. So that's how you can get lucky block in Minecraft 1.17.1. Obviously, you can get these without creative as well. You can find them randomly throughout the world. And I believe they're even craftable. So awesome stuff there as well. But nevertheless, that is kind of a preview of lucky block. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. And come play with us on PlayDoughBreakdownCraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. My name is Nick. I am out. Peace.